Although Section 1 of the bill states the aims and objectives of the bill, but to we the people, that bill represents nothing but annihilation of online freedom of expression. Violations of fundamental human rights. Criminalization of government criticism. Legalization of internet shutdowns. Gagging people's voices. We cannot dishonor the blood of our heroes by passing laws that undermine the democracy they fought for. The social media bill should worry every Nigerian and should worry anybody who has respect for democracy. The provisions of this bill are really very dangerous. They are vague, they are too broad, and they go to the heart of our democracy. The bill talks about false speech, but doesn't provide any definition of what false speech is. The bill talks about speeches or information that undermine the relationship of Nigeria with other countries. It talks about information or falsehood that affects outcome of results of election, and also talks about the ones that affect the function of government. These are vague terms that anybody can define in any way possible. This bill serves the interests of the powers that be and not the interests of citizens. The bill takes away the power of the court to come in and determine disputes and issues burden on rights of citizens. We can't even go to court to challenge a regulation under this bill if we do not hear back from the police that our requests for review of the regulation has been rejected. It is important to mention that freedom of speech is at the heart of our democratic governance, is at the heart of democracy in this country. And by this bill and the nature of this bill, we are outsourcing that capacity for us to speak for ourselves freely as Nigerians to people who we may not be able to control. Nigeria is signatory to many international treaties, one of which is the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. Article 19 provides for the freedom of expression. This is also copied in our national constitution as Section 39. The African Charter, also in Article 9, also speaks to freedom of speech and expression. And yes, while these rights provide the foundation for exercising freedom of expression, it also recognizes that in certain circumstances where the reasons are legitimate, you can actually restrict these rights. But the law also is, views these restrictions quite strictly. They must be confirmed by law, it must serve a legitimate purpose, and it must be necessary in a democratic society. This bill, as it currently stands, would fail this three-part test because even though it's a law that is being pursued, it would not be proportionate in terms of the risks and the danger which it seeks to protect. It would rather gag people's voices. I think the Ninth National Assembly have lost their sense of belonging. They don't have ideas coming up with a social media regulatory bill, and of course the NGO bill, shows that the National Assembly does not mean us well. If the top sector cannot hold you to account, then why are you vying for public office? If we monitor, regulate social media, how are we able to track money that are meant for grassroots communities using Twitter, Facebook, and other social media platforms to amplify voices that people have never even had? that exist. And these are people that have representative in the National Assembly that are meant to ensure they provide proper oversight. We would oversight them if they don't do their job. And we would reject this bill as civil society leaders. The sponsor of the social media bill is Senator Mohammed Sani Musa from Niger East Senatorial District. And one of the reasons one would normally think that is behind a bill as this is because he's one being under the radar of public criticisms, and especially when there was a scandal about him with PVC supply to the Independent National Electoral Commission. There is also Senator Elisha Habu, who is now infamous for having assaulted a lady at a sex toy shop. And there is, of course, Senator Haba Moro, who is known for his uh, lead in the immigration scam that happened in 2014. That led to the loss of about 20 young lives in Nigeria. 
But more importantly, we need to remind the Senate to do a profound interrogation of this obnoxious bill because there was a Senate before the Ninth Senate. There will be another Senate after the Ninth Senate. If the Ninth Senate does not look at this bill critically, then in the future, they will become a victim of their own self. Social media is now like the new village square. It's where we get to talk about social change and we've been able to see it around conversations that have happened around sexual and gender-based violence. Um, for example, like Arua Me Too. We've been able to see with sex for grades. We've been able to see with Bring Back Our Girls that really brought attention to girls being abducted and not being able to continue their education. We've seen it with Not Too Young to Run. We've seen it with Follow the Money. It's provided an opportunity for us to engage with public officials and be able to know what's happening in the Senate. You can know what laws are been introduced, you can talk to your public officials and just send them a tweet or a Facebook message and they respond. It's really generated a way to speak truth to power, to hold people accountable and to drive social change. First, enforce and exhaust extant laws, like our criminal laws on defamation and libel, our Cyber Crimes Act, our Terrorism Prevention Act. Second, review existing laws instead of multiplicity or duplications. Third, we should strengthen relevant agencies like our law enforcement agencies. Fourth, is we should conduct constructive engagement with all relevant stakeholders and actors and parties. Fifth, is for us to ensure that we carry out public sensitization so that people are aware of the changing dynamics or the way that internet falsehood play out and their role in preventing it. Finally, and most importantly, effective leadership and good governance. With all this, we can solve the problems of internet falsehood and manipulation. I say no to the social media bill. I say no to the social media bill. I say no to social media bill. I say no to, to social, social media, media bill. bill.